All right, so in this video, we are going to look at the Logo Maker app. Um, this is an AI app that allows you to, um, it allows you basically to to create a logo, okay, with using the AI prompt. Um, you can see I was trying to do some testing here, but let's just start from scratch. Um, we'll delete these. All right, cool. So say for example, um, the name of your notary service is called, um, let's say Florida, Florida Man, notaries notary services for the notary services um uh, we provide um notary services say notary say notary signing service and the um south florida area uh, specifically For title agency and as far as logo i want to I, I like the mascot go for mascot and let's have it pick for you and florida um let's just have it do uh let's see orange florida orange i uh, will definitely take hello in the blue and the red with the florida orange all right uh let's create a logo all right so in a few minutes we should see a load a few options a few logos come up and uh what with mascot this time all right, so let's see what comes out. All right, so we have a few options, right? The Florida Man Notary. So it's actually pretty good right off the bat, right? So we have one that's good. We see a Florida Man look like he has a notary stamp in his hand with a Florida shirt. We got some palm trees, Florida Man Notary Services. Here's another one that's pretty cool. Uh, Florida Man Notary Services. Um, this one says Florida Man, but that's not a map of Florida, right? That's kind of off. But this one here and these two to, to my right looks pretty good. So let's go with, hmm, I don't know if we want a Florida Man in the water. Uh, see, this other one has its fingers are a little messed up. Um, uh, this one on the top looks cool too. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go with this one here. So, I like this one Florida Man Notary Services. <laughs> All right, cool. This is a cool one. So, we'll, we'll, we'll choose five stars on that one. But, um, actually, let's go here. Choose five stars. Let's see if we can find something else. So, instead of doing a mascot, let's do, um, Let's do an abstract logo and let's see what it comes up with this time. So we got to create an abstract logo and see what, what, see what happens. All right. So you have some additional options. Uh, this one here is for, for the man, uh, notary services. You notice how some of the wording is not, it's not, it's not great because you know, this is pulling up from chat DPT. So a lot of times, um, with, uh, sorry, open AI. So a lot of times open AI, the wording is not that great, but the first, um, set that we, um, pulled was actually pretty spot on. Uh, so you can just play with these settings and then choose whichever options you can choose any one of these options or you can let it pick for you and that's 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 the next one we'll choose and maybe we'll choose some different colors orange and let's go with orange and blue okay and we're gonna have it pick for us this time and see see what see what happens all right awesome so these are some other options they came up with um right here is a florida um florida florida man notary services here and also you know they kept it consistent with the uh actual map of florida so um we gave it a basic prompt and the prompt that you we give um to this ai it's automatically on the back end is going to create a more sophisticated prompt but you're you're, you're more than happy you know, you're more than welcome so rather than to put your own prompt in here to give a full description of what you want you can say give it a description you know tall short skinny you know fat or whatever whatever um description you like to give to the prompt you can give to it the more the more you give it the better so that way it'll be a little bit more um specific to your likings but um, let's say, for example, we wanted to go ahead and uh, do some editing. So what we can do is when you hover over the three dots, you will have some options. So you can go ahead and download it. If you like it, you can trash it. You can share your logo. You can remove the background if you like, which if you want like a transparent um, background. And you can also do some editing. So when you click on the, the, the pencil button there, it, uh, you know, you're allowed to do some edits. So say, for example, you want to rescale it instead of it uh, being wide, you can make it, um, you can rescale it. So that way um, it's a little bit um, shorter. You can choose your dimension and pixels here. So, um, so if you want to make it like a vertical, uh, vertical logo, you can do that. Uh, you can do some AI retouching. So with the AI retouching, you can change the background. So if you, if you like, you can replace the background with different colors. If you see something that's not quite right, what you can do is you can do like a magic eraser and you can remove something. Um, so you can just hover over, let's say you hover over his pocket or we want to remove the pocket for whatever reason or remove it. Um, but we can, we can undo that. But uh, what else? We can add stickers if you like. So if you see some stickers that you want to add, like if you want to add some emojis, like you want to add this here to your logo, you can do that. 
um, like a celebration or if you want to add a thumbs up or, or different emojis or if you have an image on your computer you can add images here like if you, you know anything that you want to add you can add here uh so we can do some fine tuning so if you want to make it bright or if you want to make it a little bit clearer you can do some, some provide some clarity saturation and exposure you gotta play with these settings here and then it'll adjust your logo accordingly if you wanted to do tweak it a little bit um you can add some framings so if you want to do like uh uh, different framings here, like a portfolio frame. You could do that. Um, then you could just see change the color here. Like if we want to add this framing around it, or uh, maybe yellow framing or orange framing. So you can play with all these settings. But all the settings are pretty much self-explanatory. If you ever use Canva or any other tool, um, this tool would be just as useful. But instead of you having to leave the actual application, um, you could just stay with right, right within this application and um, do your editing. Okay. Once you're done, you just hit done, and it's going to process the image. And you can go in and then it'll allow you to download it at this point. Then you can just add it to your, to your marketing. So I hope that this video was helpful. And see you in the next video. Peace.